I don't know how to start this off. I've got a, th I'm doing, I found out it's called Heath Robinson when you kind of botch up some idea that might work, might not with sticky tape and plasticine and everything like that. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing, but then I wanna take you, because I had fun going out to the garden center and everything like that with me mum. You know, I've like opera. Well, I found this reclamation yard that has opera and classical. And I want to show you this reclamation yard. To be honest, it's quite, it's quite a posh one. But let me just show you this first, oh, before I even do that. Let me, I'm babysitting again today. Uh-huh. Look what he's bloody done. <laughs> little bugger. Because I, I threw a little bit of compost on there. And obviously it's, it's new, it's a new thing, bloody hell. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you me, because I've had some problems with me chilies, and I'm hoping I might have sussed out the problem, but I've got another problem. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. So I'm gonna show you me main chilies that I kind of pricked out, planted out, sowed on the 4th of January, and tender with tender love and care. Something's not right with them. There you go, that's, <laughs> that's them. Look at that, man, what's these ones? These are Seville Orange. Not, something wasn't working with there. Now, I've put it down to, actually, I think it's this actual heat tray isn't given heat in the full spectrum of its board because these ones were me spares of plants. Do you know what I mean? And these ones were just like left to, to basically, you know, when you just kind of have spares like that left, I cannot help but keep them. Well, I'm so glad I did because there's me aubergines. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of lovely. So me chillers bleeding jigsaw. They're kind of coming on all right. But me Heath Robinson, and even, you know, I showed them on, because I've put them, on, there's a heat mat here. Can you see that? So I've got this heat mat on, and last year I used, th these heat mats are fab, to be honest. If I remember, I'll put a link in. I've got the, I think it might be a meter length one, and it's great from I root. I root it. But, can you see me, Heath Robinson? We're going away for a few days in, a, in about a week or so's time, and I don't want to kind of ask people to kind of rock in and turn up, so, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I've got this, you know, the, the capillary matting. I've got that there, like a big bucket of water. I've soaked that, so I'm just keeping an eye on it. But it's warm in here anyway, isn't it? This is me, this is me Achilles heel, <laughs> this little bit here. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. It should work. It'll work the other way, you know, if this was kind of full of water and it would just run out, I've seen that happen. But I, I'm not sure about this matten. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping it comes up. If not, if not, I'm going to fall on to Plan Z. And Plan Z is, because we're away for about a week, is actually just have to, this is a, like a, a propagator tree. I can heat it up, but I haven't got it switched on yet. I'll just have to fill this with like an inch or two of water and see if that works. But look at me celeriacs coming there now as well when I just leave things alone. This was sown the celeriac on the, four, the 14th of January. <sighs> yeah, slow grown. I'm gonna get celeriac this year. So something was wrong with them and I had all my fancy, you know, my nice ones. But anyway, I've got Ring of Fire, Haitian Yellow, I think it's called, Piri Piri, Bleeding Jigsaw, some more Piri Piri, and some Yalapinos. And actually, it's the Yalapinos and the Ring of Fire that I'm, you know, and Piri Piri. The Bleeding Jigsaws, Jigsaws, the, the Mother Chucker one. So, what else have I... I just sowed some in here. Broad Beans are in there. So we'll just see if that happens, but it's this, this bloody Achilles heel.
Right then, job's taken care of, little bugger. <laughs> Why don't we go to this reclamation yard? So, let's give you a little heads up first. It's called O'Brien's, and O'Brien's is the company that seems to like do everything, like the, the demolition, the, the kind of haulage, storage, all sorts. But I, I guess when the demolition goes ahead, you know, they're, they're kind of picking up things, and they've, for years they've had this kind of lovely place where you can go and walk around and just pick up some quirky little things. But, well, I'll show you. So you know my little collection of vinyl? Well, you can get, and you know how I, I'm kind of partial, that's my favorite one, to be honest, opera. Yes, I found in there, they've got, they must have done like a house clearance, and there's just loads of classical, and a few little opera box sets as well. So you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the jazz, but opera. So we're just, I'm just gonna have a, I'm just gonna have a little look, little peruse, a little, little treat for us. So it's not that far away from us. And like I see, I'd, they've got like little rooms in there with like, just, I guess it's like the, the way the building was. I think it was an old like car sales room, garage that had, they've moved around a couple of times. They've got like their big main depot, which had a building in there and that's where, you know, and it, it holds like lots of, or the, the compound's got like lots of like slate tiles and sleepers and chimneys and, but they've got some quirky stuff and they've got two kind of indoor shops, which one of them was, I guess, the, like car sales room. And in there, in one of those you know, the manager's offices is a whole load of classical music on vinyl. So I'm guessing they've cleared out you know, a, a house and, but it's, it's fab, it's got some stuff. I got a, what did I get? S Satchmo LP the other week and it was cheap, it was Chips Man 150 and what I find with, and I think I've mentioned this before, with opera and probably classical as well is, people buy it but they don't play it that often. <laughs> so you get good quality things. My wife bought, we went to see ABC a couple of weeks ago, and my wife picked up a, in, a, in a second-hand shop, an ABC LP, and it was just like, that ain't getting played on my new hut, my new kind of turntable. Not a hope in hell, there was like fingerprints, scratches, where classical, I think it's played, the, most of them I kind of played once and then <laughs> that's it, right? Get, Get that shit off of here. <laughs> hey man, honestly, when I, I go into a happy place when, and actually I'm doing that there now with the jazz as well. I go into this happy place with, with classical and op, you know, like opera mainly. But when I put like say Carmen on, oh man, just fantastic. <laughs> Normally it's my wife that likes to come to these places. So she finds out I've been here and uh, without, <laughs> without that coming along. Because like you say, you pick up some great stuff for the house. Do you know what I mean? Some like quirky things you, you don't often see around. So this is it. So it's built over like two shops. You can kind of see they look a little bit like car room sales place. And there's, actually there's the cafe in the far one as well. But, so you can get all sorts, so you get like, flags you can get, I don't know if you can see there in the background, right at the back, like sleepers, do you know what I mean? I, I guess them, you know, if you could get them, they would be amazing for your garden. Can you see them there? But, so they do all sorts, you know, so they do gravel, but you can pick up old, look at there, you can pick up old flagstones, they like picked up, you know, and some of them, there, look at these ones. These are the ones I've got similar in my polytunnel, you know, like the two foot ones. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're brutish to lift, but if you can get a hold of some of these kind of things, you know, bricks. Look at there's them sleepers over there, man. They just make your eyes water, don't they? But we'll have a little look in the shop as well. And even outside, we, like we normally come to have a look outside, you know, because they've got some 
just like bizarre, quirky things. Do you know what I mean? So you could kind of do that up and just have it. I know most people wouldn't have it in the house, but we would. You know what I mean? And there's some things I don't even know what are, what what they are. You know what I mean? It's, and it's a mix. I tell you why I like it. It's a mix of like new and old. Do you know what I mean? So he has like the chimney pots. You know what I mean? You've got to get like strawberries growing out of the chimney pots. Also, look at even a, you can even buy a <laughs> post box. I tell you what I like, I like looking at these because to see, see there's one in the background, George, King George, that post box, there's another King George one as well. You know, you get some old, old, old stuff and a mix of new. I mean, God knows where this carriage has come from. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at it, man. <laughs> it must be bloody years old. Then they've got like, I guess, everyday ornaments and stuff. We'll go into that shop, because like I said, there's a coffee shop in there, but that's mainly, I think, new stuff. There's always mangles kicking around. I don't know what that is. Someone tell us what that is. Does it tell you what it is, this? Bottled. Cob. I cannot read that. 250, whatever it is. Come on, someone tell us what that is. Look at there's another vintage. Look at man. How old? That's bogey trolley thing. I just, I'm looking at the... <laughs> the pallets are even getting me excited. <clears throat> so that table looks new, but it's next to you know like a, some armour and seats with pedals on. Bizarre. We'll have a look in. And dogs welcome, that's why we like it as well. We can bring the dogs in. But it's in here that I found a secret stash. So look at those church pews, mixed with like new, I guess these are new, tables, look at them, chairs with bicycle pedals on. I'll just have a wander around. I mean, I can remember that kind of colour from my mum's, you know, like in the 70s. <laughs> Yeah, that is a close peg. <laughs> Only mirrors. Can you... See, I mean, are these off a fireplace? They just look lush, to be honest. I don't know how much they are, but let's just go down and have a look. I haven't got my specs on. Is that... I don't know if it's 300 or 3,000. See, these are these little rooms that have just got mirrors and everything in. What's in this one? See, where's that? You know, you can kind of convert. Old doors there. Seven hundred for these two Chinese style doors. I mean they actually look old but being like treated, polished up. I mean look at them man. I'm sure I'm I only looked at these, you know, for in our house. They <laughs> God you need a secure wall for them. It's a bit of a bizarre table from a tree. I think I've seen them before, to be honest. The root 
thousand pound Bosch, just like that. <coughs> See, what are these? I wonder if the lights. IKEA made in Vietnam. I'm not sure what they are, to be honest. Tell you what, we'll go and have a look in the other one. It's more, I think, furniture, like new furniture. And we'll come back in here because I want to show you that room there. So this is the other shop. And it's funny, not many people come in here, but you still can, you know, pick some quirky things up. Old suitcases. It's more kind of new stuff, but look at that. I always wanted that. Hello. That backdrop for the studio but I wasn't allowed to cover it that wall with wood we had to compromise but I like that effect if I could do the whole back with that that would be nice I guess this is just a spare you know place to put the spare big stuff like lecterns how much if you fancy a lectern What's that say? 200 plus VAT. I could preach about the potty from there. Is that a, some, a bell? It's got a coffee shop in here as well. But anyway, I'll show you my little secret stash. I got that door wrong as well. Right, see if I can, see if I can grab myself a bargain. A bit of opera bargain. <laughs> so we, I kind of found this room the last time we were here. And like I say, it was all just, f they must have cleared out a house with loads of, or a fan of classical. Here we go. Look at this. Man. So that's it. But look, these box sets. These are all like opera box sets. I'll just show you that. The Traviata. I'm going to put you down for a minute or two. I'm going to have a look. <laughs> Trek me sell. Look what I got. Yes. Got it knocked down as well. <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed to bits with that, to be honest. Right. So it was 20, but I got it for half price, man. That's a bloody bargain. Look after yourselves. Take good care.